Skahoi Universal PTC controllers are unique in that we support the individual features of the cameras and we have now integrated support with the Angikiss robotic cameras. These 4K cameras, USB 3.0 enabled, also SDI out, are integrated with the PTC Fly here and I also brought a very unique new feature in our controllers which is cruise control. I want to show you how that works. It works not only with these cameras but all our robotic cameras. So it's a controller specific feature that will uh, remind you how valuable it is when a universal controller like ours um, add features that actually expand the capabilities of your cameras. Cruise control will give you more dynamic PDC uh, recorded shows even though you're only a single operator because it allows you to keep a camera moving while you switch to a different camera, set it up and then finally switch to it on your vision mixer. Now let's look at these two cameras and how they integrate on the PTC Fly. If you haven't seen the PTC Fly before I want to give you a crash course in it. So it's this nice and simple controller but still very powerful. It has a camera selector right here so you see camera number one and camera number two. Basic stuff is moving the joystick, now panning one of the cameras. As you can see, I'm zooming by turning the knob of the joystick. I pan and zoom at the same time here, all right? And then I can go to camera two and I can do the same over here and find another angle I wanna, uh, let's zoom in on the uh, Airfly Pro right there. Now, I can also record presets. Presets are so important, of course. So if I press on the lower edge of this uh, multi-function button, we call it a four-way button, I get to the preset section. So I'm, I'm, I was currently on camera two, so I wanna save this on preset number one. So I press and hold, and then uh, let's just find a different angle here. So a little bit over to the side, we stop right there, we press and save it on preset number two. So uh, let's just recall the preset by a short press, short press, it goes forth and back between these presets. So if I go back to camera number one, I can do the same. On camera number one, I wanna save this angle on one of them and I zoom out a little bit and this is my second preset, okay? And I could do a third preset. Go to the side here, press and hold until it's, uh, let me see, right there. So press and hold to save this preset. Let's recall them, okay, first preset, second preset and the third preset, all right? So if I press the upper side of this button, I get access to all the features in the menu up here. So you see it's basically cycling. We have a um, menu with exposure mode, so I can change the exposure mode of the camera. Now you see this immediately. I'm now in shutter speed mode, so I can change the shutter speed on the camera. Let's just get it back to 60. I can put it in iris priority mode and uh, I'm able to adjust the iris. By the way, this could be mapped to an RCP, so it's not just the PTC Fly that can do this. It's uh, available on all our controllers. We have uh, something called brightness mode and uh, auto mode, of course, but let's put it back into manual mode where we came from, I think. Um, so if I press once more, we have the white balance mode. We are currently in manual mode, so we um, are able to shade the picture. Now we are turning up the red a little bit. You can see that uh, clearly. If I um, turn it the other way, I should get a more neutral image. We can also change the white balance mode to auto tracking, I think. One push white balance, so we can press and hold here to record a white balance or turn the knob. And uh, then finally we can uh, go to outdoor and indoor white balances on this camera. Let's go back to manual mode right there. And um, we can do the same for the second camera, of course. So notice how when I, I change between these cameras, you see the white balance mode right there is uh, changing because it's now set differently on these two. And I think this should probably go back to um, manual mode as well. Okay, so even though the pictures are not fully matched right now, and that's not the point of this video, you can see that I have access to all these parameters individually for these two cameras. If I cycle once more, I have contrast, saturation, sharpness. This one is currently not occupied, so you can go into our configuration and assign a function that you would like to find on that knob. Obviously, you can also um, reconfigure these so that you do not have contrast and saturation, sharpness, and put something else. So this is super flexible using the Unisketch configuration interface. Watch another video if you want to see that. Uh, it's not a part of this demonstration today. We have PTC speed up here. I have a focus mode. I have a focus one push and a focus adjust. So this is basically your focus knob if you want to do manual focus. 
Let's now turn our attention to the cruise control feature on the Angie Kiss and the PC Fly uh, controller. And this button has been set up regardless of whether I'm in my preset um, recall mode or if I'm in the camera select mode, this is my cruise control uh, enable function. Okay, so um, as I promised you, it's, it's about keeping a camera moving. So now I'm moving this camera, I press this button and you see the camera keeps moving actually for 10 seconds while I could do something else. So, um, and the 10 seconds stops there. Unfortunately, in this case, I think we reached the end of the zoom range of the camera before it actually stopped the motion. But um, let's zoom in and uh, do a pan instead. So let's say I'm, I'm framing this and uh, now I want, it, it's a stage, it's, um, it's a show, it's a, it's a lecture, something which calls for a slow pan, which I'm starting right there. I press the cruise control button and when now we, we see it's continuously panning while this is blinking, it's counting down even and it's gonna stop right now, all right? So let's go the other way. I press it. So now I change the camera to camera one. I go here, I recall a preset on camera number one, okay? And over here on my vision mixer, I, I cut to camera one while this camera, within the 10 seconds that passes by, it's still moving and then stopping the camera. So let's say I want to do something similar here. I want to make a slow zoom out. I enable cruise control. I go back, change to camera number two. Now I do a manual adjustment right there. I do a cut on my vision mixer. And while one camera is keeping moving, I prepare another one and I make the cut to that. So when you get into the rhythm of this, then you'll be able to make shows which are really much more dynamic than you're used to because you can, you can start this motion, you can prepare the second camera as if you had two camera operators really. So this is cruise control in the automated way where there is a delay that will stop the motion after the expiration of the delay. The delay can be set in the controller, but you can also hook it up with other signals like uh, you could connect the GPI box so you had a, um, a foot pedal or something that would keep the camera moving until you release it. And uh, there, there are some different ways you can control this feature. And the basic idea is for having the delay at all is to make sure the camera is not wandering all you know the way around and e eventually getting so far out of um, the, the the usual range of, of field of view that uh, it would take a long time for it to get back. So so it's uh, the important thing is really that you keep the camera moving until you have made the cut on your vision mixer, right? Uh, and then to make sure that it doesn't end up some crazy place. So that's Angikiss support in Skyhawk controllers and mixed in with cruise control available for these cameras and uh, any other Skyhawk camera you can control without PTC controllers. Mm -hmm.